Ladies and gentlemen, with the academic procession now completed, we have another beautiful um, tradition to upload, to uphold it. Please remain standing as we honor our nation with the national anthem, and this will be followed by him to St. Augustine. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for the gift of our lives. We thank you for the gift of our faith. We thank you for the gift of our hosting community here. We thank you for the gift of this institution, the Augustine University. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of our students, their lecturers, and the entire university community. We ask in your loving kindness that you send down your Holy Spirit upon us to guide us through this ceremony. We commit these our children who are graduating today into your care. We ask, O oh Lord, that you bless them even more abundantly. Bless their parents. Bless all those who have been instrumental to their studies in this institution. We ask that this ceremony will continue to further the great work that you do in our midst. We thank you, Lord, as we inaugurate also the new chancellor for this university. May you continue to guide, lead, and strengthen him to move this university even to greater heights. Bless our archbishop, bless our archdiocese, and bless all those who continue to work hard 
to make this institution what you want it to be. May your name be praised and blessed both now and forever through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we proceed with the convocation ceremony, I would like to take a moment to express um, gratitude to each and everyone for being a part of this momentous occasion. Your presence and support means the world to you, Augustine University entirely. And at this juncture, I would like to add over to the registrar, Mrs. Margaret Aziba, who will now guide us through the remaining events for the convocation. Thank you. Madam Registrar, you have the floor, ma. We have the inauguration of our second vice chancellor, of our second chancellor, Mr. Femi Otedola. Surprise or sir. I now invite Mr. Femi Otedola to rise and step forward down to the stage for his inauguration as the second chancellor of Augustine University, Ilara. Why Mr. Fedola is standing before us, I invite the university orator, Dr. James Onyashe, to come out and read his citation. Dr. Onyashe, please. Yeah. Permit me, proprietor, to read the citation of Mr. Fedola Fedola. Thank you. Mr. Peter Olufemi Otedola, CON, is the chairman of Gary Group Power PLC and a non executive director of First Bank Nigerian Holdings PLC. His footprint in the Nigerian private sector began with his foray into the downstream sector of the Nigerian petroleum industry when he started Xenon Petroleum and Gas Limited. He also invested in petroleum product storage tanks, shipping, insurance brokerage, and petroleum retail outlets, building a formidable presence in the downstream petroleum industry value chain. He purchased the majority shareholding in African Petroleum and became his board chairman in May 2007. He transformed African Petroleum into Fox Oil PLC. He grew it into a formidable company and then divested from Fort Oil and transited into the power sector through the acquisition of controlling shares of the 435 megawatts Geregu Power PLC. Mr. Otedola has held several other board memberships, including chairman of Transcorp Hilton Hotel, Abuja, and president of the Nigerian Chamber of Shipping. He was appointed a member of the Governing Council of the Nigerian Investment Promotion Council. He was also a member of the National Economic Management Team under the chairmanship of former President Goodluck Jonathan and the Honorary International Investors Council under the leadership of Baroness Linda Chalker. He is currently a member of the Revered National Peace Committee, promoted by Bishop Matthew Kuka, and chaired by the former president of Nigeria, 
General Abu Salami Abu Bakr. Mr. Tabala was recognized for his immense contributions to the growth of the Nigerian economy with the confirmation of the prestigious national honor of Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, in May 2010. He's a philanthropist with unflinching commitment in the educational courses at all levels. Via the Sir Michael Otedola Scholarship Awards Foundation, he continues to demonstrate his passion for his indigenous Epe community and in Nigeria in general by committing huge financial resources to the sponsorship of promising but financially disadvantaged students. He is a vice president of the Save the Children UK, a UK-based charity. His invitation to the group is a testament to his philanthropy, evidenced by the five billion naira that he donated to the Save the Children's Cause in Nigeria. In pursuit of his passion for education, he, a few years ago, committed to the construction of a four-building complex of the engineering faculty of Augustine University at the then projected cost of two billion naira. The first building was completed at the cost of 670 million naira and blessed in February this year by our proprietor and archbishop. <laughs> Mr. Femi Otedola was appointed by the proprietor of our university. His grace, archbishop, Dr. Alfred Adewale Martins. <clears throat> to the position of Chancellor of Augustine University, Ilara Ekbe Lagos, in 2022, to succeed the Vicar General of the Catholic Archdiocese of Lagos, Monsignor John Aniago, who was the first Chancellor of the University since its inception. Mr. Femi Otedola is an accomplished family man with his children charting varied endeavors internationally and making a name for themselves in arts, entertainment, fashion, and business. Mr. Femi Otedola is indeed a global visionary leader and entrepreneur who has distinguished himself in business transformation and venture capitalism. Furthermore, Mr. Tedola has extended his visionary attributes to cover sustainability through his philanthropic acts directed at poverty alleviation through education. We have a firm conviction that this first-class citizen of Nigeria will bring all this to bear to accelerate the growth of Augustine University towards the attainment of the vision, goals, and objectives of the university. Augustine University is most honored to have this distinguished Catholic gentleman and as the first class citizen of this country, to act now as the chancellor of our university. Thank you, sir.
Thank you very much. Why Mr. After the Law still remains uh, standing, proprietor, I invite the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Sir Steve Omojafo, and the Vice Chancellor of Augustine University, Professor Christopher Odetunde, to please step forward to join Mr. Tedola as we robe him with the academic gown as the second Chancellor of Augustine University. Thank you very much. We invite uh, our second chancellor to please get back to his seat. We applaud him again while he takes his seat. Having been inaugurated as the second chancellor, we can now continue with our convocation ceremony. Constitution of this very congregation by the chancellor. Chancellor, sir. The Augustine University is licensed and empowered to grant degrees, certificates, and other distinctions, as well as to award medals, prizes, and other titles. I therefore humbly invite the Chancellor to constitute this assembly as a congregation held for the purpose of awarding Diploma certificates, conferring degrees, and presenting awards. Thank you very much. I hereby constitute this assembly as a congregation of the Augustine University for the purpose of awarding diploma certificates, conferring degrees, and presenting awards. Thank you very much, Chancellor. We are on item five, presentation of addresses. The first to present an address is the Vice Chancellor. I now invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Christopher Odetunde, to present his address to the congregation. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Baba Tide Sawolu, 
the proprietor, His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Alfred Adewale Martins, Divisionaire of Augustine University's Eminence, Anthony Cardinal Ulubumi Okoje, Chancellor, Mr. Femi Otedola, C.O.N., the, the Chairman of the uh, Board of Trustees, Sir Steve Omajapo, and members of the Board of Trustees, Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Governing Council, Chief Gilbert Grant, and other members of Council, the Registrar of the Principal Officers of the University, Vice, Vice Chancellors and Registrars of Sister Universities, Convocation Lecturer Professor Mike Jose Home San, members of the University Senate, staff and students of our illustrious university, all AUI benefactors, friends, uh, His Royal Majesty, the Alara of the Lara Kingdom, Oba Ulukayode, Ulufolani, Ugusamu, friends of the university, parents and graduating students, and members of their families, AUI graduates, alumni members of Augustine University, gentlemen of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great pleasure and honor to welcome you all to the auspicious occasion of the fifth convocation of Augustine University. At this point in time, I'd like to appreciate the stakeholders of the university, namely Visionaire, who established AUI and uh, actively and steadfastly show interest in the growth of the university, the proprietor, who obliged to our requests for funding, the chairman of board of trustees and members of his team, the post chancellor and chairman of council and members of the governor council, all members, I will join in welcoming the new chancellor in the, in the person of Mr. Femi Otedola, C-O-N. This is a special day for celebrating our students who have established themselves at various fields of their endeavor. I welcome our distinguished guests, parents, all well wishers, and our graduates to this fifth convocation ceremony. In March 2015, Augusta University Lara Epe took off with a vision to provide a transformative education that goes beyond the confines of classrooms and to nurture not just minds but souls. They find a vision a place where intellectual curiosity requires less with moral grounding where academic excellence merges with big, uh, values and where young minds are shaped into responsible global adult citizens. Today, as we celebrate the graduation of, the fifth, of our fifth set of students, we stand here with pride, knowing that our collective vi uh, vision has given us again taking root and blossom into reality. These graduates before you are testament of the dedication of our faculty, staff, and unwavering support of the faith and faith of our parents and guardians. These individuals, many of whom came to Augustine University with dreams in their eyes, aspiration in their hearts, and have spent years immersing themselves in the pursuit of knowledge the exploration of ideas and cultivation of character. Today, as across the stage, 
they do not only collect their hard-earned degrees, but proudly carry with them the ethos and the spirit of Augustine University to be associated with. Augustine University has no doubt continued to press on the journey towards becoming a world-class university. I can say confidently that our first four sets of graduates are making waves in their respective disciplines, including the motto of the university, learning and character. The class of uh, 23 is not and should not be different, as members of the class are ready to take on the world in its stride. We are grateful to the proprietor, chairman, board of trustees and his team, as well as chairman and members of the Advocacy Council for their supportive roles. Indeed, the university has benefited from your innumerable contributions, vigorous exchange of ideas, and your logical guardians necessary for AUIs to participate in nation building. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the management members of Senate, all productive officers of the university, and members of SERICOM for providing the necessary logistic support and leadership in making this occasion possible. For the fifth, for this fifth convocation, we have the following graduating classes. First class, we have nine. Second class, upper 24. Second class, lower 21. And third class, two. May I? The classes that your children graduate in is not a measure of success in their life, but a snapshot of knowledge in time. Though we all wish our students make the first class, but all, at this point, we only need to appreciate their efforts in whatever class they find themselves. Now, update on the university. A course review of AUI journey to, to guide towards filling AUI's well laid out set of object, objectives. The first one is approval to run postgraduate program. The National University Commission has bestowed its appro approval seal upon AUI for the commencement of postgraduate programs. After rigorous assessment and thorough resource verification exercise, Augustine University has not only excelled but surpassed expectation. This recognition is a testament to our unwavering commitment to good education, but our relentless pursuit of academic excellence. The following program, uh, postgraduate program, are to commence in this 2023-2024 academic session, postgraduate diploma, PGD, computer science, master of science, MSc in computer science, and doctor of philosophy, PhD <coughs> in computer science. These programs are designed to cater to the needs of our ever evolving, evolving world, where technology plays a pivotal a Peter role especially this time of AI, artificial intelligence. They reflect our dedication to equipping our students with the necessary skills, advanced knowledge, and expertise required to excel in their various chosen professions. There's under approval from the NUC that is granting approval for the, to, to run two new undergraduate programs at our esteemed institution. This approval reflects AUI's ongoing dedication to expanding her academic offerings while ensuring that she remains at the cutting edge of innovation and providing excellence in science education. The following new programs and their faculties will commence 2023-2024 session. Bachelor of Nursing Science, BN Science, 
in nursing science, Faculty of Basic Medical and Health Sciences. Faculty of Engineering B, Engin Eng in Computer Engineering, Faculty of Engineering. As we introduce these new programs, we do, not, we do so with the same commitment to ac academic excellence, continued value-based education, and a holistic development that has uh, defined Augustine University uh, from her inception. Our aim is not, to, is not only to impact knowledge, but, but to nurture well-rounded individuals who are prepared to make meaningful contributions nationally and internationally. Faculty of, of uh, Law Building has continued to grow with the help of uh, Mr. Uh, Bakari and his family. So we thank them very much. Faculty of Engineering has been discussed here. It is with great pride and excitement that I announce the commitment, commencement of our second phase of Lady Doja, or Tedola Faculty of Engineering. This new building will not only serve as a physical space of learning and innovation, but also to symbolize our wavering determination to prepare our students for success in the fields of engineering and technology. What makes this achievement even more remarkable is the continued generosity of the Otedola family, particular our esteemed chancellor, Mr. Femi, Otedola C.O.N. I especially want to appreciate my mouth, Lady Otedola, for her wise counsel, guardians, for which I am a grateful recipient. The unwavering commitment of the family to the growth and development of Augustine University is truly commendable. It is their substantial contribution that is driving the construction of these state-of-the-art engineering facilities. As we grow as a university, we need to increase our hostel space. Construction of new female hostels are currently underway. These hostels are projects by Our Lady of Perpetual Health Catholic Church, Victoria Island, and the Female Hostel is, supported, is sponsored by Church of Assumption, Falomon, Lagos. These facilities are not, uh, when completed, these hostels will provide myriad of choice of living for our students. These facilities will not only provide a, a space, a comfortable living space for our students, but will enhance their overall university experience. This is a collaborative spirit that is foundation of our Catholic church faith. The support we receive, both in terms of resources and encouragement, is a reflection of the shared belief in the trans transformative power of education. Our university chapel is still ongoing. The university chapel and the Clady House were a dream of the key and gift of the Akpani family. Internal work continues while the external work around the, around the building is ongoing. We are grateful for the uncanny generosity of the family and the willingness to leave their footprint in the sand of AUI. With the completion of the chapel, it will not only house our faculty and staff and students for mass, but the people of Ilara and Isenvaro, the meeting place of town and gown. Student enrollment. Augusta University is experiencing a steady and notable uh, increase in student enrollment. Three years ago, this administration started with 
489 students. As of this moment in time, we have increased AUR student enrollment to about 900 students. This growth is a reflection, is a direct result of efforts coming from our esteemed faculty, staff, and our supporters who have diligently worked to position Augustine University as a premier uh, destination for higher learning and introduction of new academic programs that resonate with the changing times. Our university's expansion in student numbers is not solely a numerical achievement, it is an embodiment of our dedication to providing cutting edge education that helps our students with the skills, knowledge, and mindset, and character required to excel in our students' chosen fields. We must discuss disciplinary issues. There is no gain saying that AUI is a faith-based university that develops students spiritually, educationally, and socially. The university is very resolute in dealing with all forms of indiscipline, such as examination by practices, academic fraud, moral decay, and all forms of uh, a willful destruction of university properties. All forms of dogs, abuse, autism, abuse of students in any form, and all delinquent behaviors that may uh, manifest on campus. We are cognizant that the majority of our students are served, show maturity and, comp and comply with the university rules and regulations, but few are outlaws that must be checked so that they do not pollute the good students and staff. When such misdemeanor occur on campus, parents are carried along to have it buy into the methodical university council approved decision process and are provided the final result of the investigation relative to their wards and children. Now, charges to parents, new students, and returning students. To all our parents and their family members, this is a celebratory moment. And it should be, but as parents, we must be truth to life to our children and ward. May I remind us again that AUI is a faith-based university with logically formulated policies which no parents should think of influencing for any reason. So then, let's all discuss parenting lessons to make Augustine University truly faith-based. Undoubtedly, one of the hardest and most gratifying responsibilities in the world is parenting. Parenting is a good, in good old days of Nigeria was deeply intertwined with culture, tradition, and community. community. As the saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child. In the recent past, it was the old community that raised a child, but modern parents all over the world, especially in Nigeria, often finding them, often find themselves grappling with the challenges of balancing traditional values and customs with the demands of the fast-paced modern world. Nurturing respect for elders, instilling cultural pride, and pre preserving heritage remain essential. Even as our children are exposed to new ideas, and, uh, and ways of life. What happens these days is the fundamental disconnect between the modern ways the world and the ways humans are wired to operate and raise children. In human history, individuals who have not, who had lots of exposure to babies and children before having one of their own, to their parents, However, I expected to raise children who are perfectly ready for the world they know nothing about, such that children 
are increasingly getting diverted towards world, uh, towards wrong, do, uh, doing wrong things. As some trending parents also want to belong to the uncooked model era and often defend their children perseverously for wrongdoing. One of the biggest reasons for this is that ch children and even some parents now lack justifiable mor uh, moral values because some of these parents are controlled now by their kids or by children or instead of the other way around. These days, parents hardly find time to teach their kids the fundamental moral values and young kids now lack the wisdom to differentiate between what is wrong and what is right. Addressing these gaps requires a conscious effort from parents, caregivers, and larger society. As parents, we need to be exemplary and a good role model to our children, so that even when we are not there to monitor them, they will follow the, the, what we have implanted and taught by us. It is suggested that looking after the, and creating quality time will, ulti will ul ultimately build our children's self-esteem, prevent them from getting influenced negatively by the society peers and even the internet. All this can be achieved with prioritizing quality time, actively li listening to them, emotionally regulating and teaching life survival skills. So, stop babying these children. I want to assure you that the management I lead is anchored of openness, morality, fair play, equity, justice, and ready and willing to partner with you where your demands are reasonable. Charges to the gatherers. For our graduating students, you now understand that no matter how long a chapter of a book is, with, step with steadfastness and ruggedness, the end will be reached, and so are the challenges you'll be facing in your lives. Never stop learning, because life never stops teaching. This must be one of the takeaways as we move away into the real world. Now that you are exiting AUI, you must also introspectively and honestly answer the following question. Where did I come from? Where am I going? And what have I learned in my sojourn to Augustine University? Along with answering these questions, you must also have a goal for the future and a plan for reaching that goal, your unselfish goals of serving our nation. Our time in this world is limited. Hence, you cannot afford to waste it living someone else's life. Do not be trapped by the dogma. Each day in your life must be considered as a blank page in your diary. From my experience, from my little experience, the secret to success is turning the same diary into the best story of your life. Have you noticed that God allows us to fall sometimes because there is something down there that he wants us to see or to note? Do not be embarrassed by your failures, but learn from them and begin again, knowing that life has no limitation except the ones we consciously place on it. Go out there to the world, no matter what mistakes you, have, you might have made, instead of focusing on the phobia, focus on God's promises and represent AUI well with your head held high. Finally, no matter how 
anyone treats you, either here or when you are in the world, do never drop to their level. Always remain calm, stay strong, be focused, never give up, never keep malice, and never over compare your present situation with those of others because life is the class of one. To the alumni, AU alumni, you have represented us well. And we are grateful for your efforts, but you are now to welcome the new AUI graduates with open arms, teach them how to maintain a positive image of your alma mater. To our new graduates, you now carry with you the legacy and reputation of Augustine University. Our institution's commitment to excellence, integrity, and community development is now entrusted in your care. I urge you to uphold these principles in every aspect of your lives as you engage in the various paths and professions that await you. You are our ambassadors of this university, and the world will look to you as an exemplar of a transformative power of education. The challenges and opportunities that lie ahead of you are vast and varied. But armed with the education and value you receive from Augustine University, I am confident that you are prepared to navigate any rough waters you may encounter in your life. Embrace changes with enthusiasm, seek our continuous learning vigorously, approach every endeavor with the same passion that brought you to this moment. Some of you may not have started well, but a good end result overrides them all. Augustine University alumni, you are part, as Augustine University alumni, you are part of the network that spans the globe. A network that can be a resource of support, mentorship, and inspiration. You must, you must utilize this network to foster connections, share knowledge, and create opportunity, opportunities for others. Charges to our government and institution that created that fund. Our tertiary institutions have painstakingly produced human resources for the development of our country. But it is the responsibility of any government to provide an, an enabling environment for business growth, employment for the teaming youth, and a social safeguard, safety net for for graduates to at least survive before they are gainfully employed. Unfortunately, this is not the case. Instead, we continue to increase the cost of governance at the expense of our overall development, and nobody is courageous enough to take a corrective step. Private universities must begin to con a conversation to dispel their inability to tap into their fund on the reason that they are for profit organizations. I can state categorically with that fear of favor that most private universities are struggling to survive but still uh, giving quality education uh, to Nigerian citizens on behalf of the nation. It is time, I believe, for us to, as a nation, to visit step on. I commend all staff of our university for their commitment and dedication to duty that produce the graduates of today and for being part of Augustine University's sequential growth. Always remember that none of us is better than all of us together, put together. We are a team. Above all, we are most grateful to the Almighty God for his, his love, for ending grace and mercy on the university. I commend you to all, to all to the powerful intersection of our Blessed Mary Mother. May peace be within your walls 
prosperity within your homes as you travel. May God Almighty grant you journey mercies as you depart from this serene, our serene and beautiful university campus. Thank you for listening. Can we give the Vice Chancellor another round of applause? I now invite the Pro Chancellor, Chief Gibbert Grant, to present his address. The proprietor, eh? His Grace, our Chancellor, the Chairman of BOT, please allow me to stand for the call that has been very well established by the Vice Chancellor. This is the fifth convocation ceremony of Augustine University. Being held here today, 26th of October, 2023. The primary reason for our congregation here is to award degrees to our deserving students who have successfully completed the various courses in their respective faculties. It is always a very happy occasion for the graduating students, their parents and sponsors, faculty members, and all those responsible for the administration of our university. That highlight will come up soon. However, this congregation called the Convocation also affords us as a university body the opportunity to publicly give account of how far the university has come, highlights of the trends that we expect, what difficulties we have, and how we are able to manage them. That aspect has been very able to Chancellor, Professor Chris Odetunde, please give him a round of applause. The rest of the is for us to provide a few parting words to our graduating students. You are the focus of our being here today. This will be done in two ways, if not three. The first is what I'm doing now. The second is the convocation lecture that will be delivered by the legal illuminary, Mr. Mike Uzekome, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, on the topic of law, youth, morality, and contemporary Nigerian society. Please, our distinguished graduates, I charge you to listen attentively when he delivers his lecture. Now, you, our graduating students, the class of 2023, please give me your attention for just five minutes. Is that too much to ask for? Thank you very much. You were admitted here in October 2019. That was four years ago. 
At that time, most of you were teenagers. You're 17, 18, and maybe 19. Today, 26th of October 2023, you are graduating from your respective faculties as young ladies and gentlemen in your very early 20s. We are very proud of how you have turned out. Please give yourself a round of applause. On behalf of the Governing Council and management of the university, we want to please ask you to go into the world with confidence but please be humble and prayerful. I repeat for emphasis, please go into the world with confidence, but at all times be humble and prayerful. In your four years stay at this university, you have made a lot of friends amongst yourselves. I also want to ask you, please keep the line of friendship going. Thanks to advances in the social media, it is not going to be a problem. In fact, it will be one of your best use of the social media. Wherever you find yourself in the world, maintain contact with those friends you have made here. There is a reason we are telling you that. It is because for we the old ones, we have found that the friends we make at school, starting from primary, secondary, now tertiary, are the best friends we have in life. Please make those friendships continue. Secondly, as you leave the university today, or you leave the campus, you are joining a body of that gradually increasing body of alumni of Augustine University. You have a role to play because you become our distinguished ambassadors by what you do in the world out there, the world will get to know us better. We can do a lot of adverts, publicity, and whatever, but the marks you make, especially the positive ones, have a way of advertising us better. We are proud of you. Please continue to make us proud. I always also try to say that as early as possible when you leave this university, please form the habit of giving. When I say giving, not only to the university, let me say giving to worthy causes, of which your university, of course, is the primary one. Not necessarily money. But your time and talents are just as valuable. I repeat, we are very, very proud of you. Please go into the world with confidence. Now a few words of appreciation for your parents and sponsors. Distinguished parents and sponsors of our graduates who are here with us today, please, we'd like to thank you very sincerely for the confidence you have reposed in us by giving us charge of your children four years ago. Maybe at a time when we didn't have too much to show, but to 
today they are leaving Augusta University and returning to you. I have no doubt that you like what you see. And if you do, please join us as ambassadors and friends to tell the people out there that Augusta University is an establishment where you can entrust your words and in four years you are assured of a better tomorrow. We thank you very much. We have in this period of four years put your words through a lot of academic rigors and they have demonstrated excellence as will be rewarded by the degrees that will be awarded very soon. But in addition, we are also proud of the character they have become. Because the university places equal emphasis on both excellence in character and excellence in academics. Our motto explains that very clearly. It says, pro scientia et moribus, for learning and character. We are proud of our graduating students. So, we commend them to you and to the world at large. Lastly, the convocation also affords us an opportunity to publicly thank our benefactors. The Vice Chancellor has done some of that already, if not even all. But as Pro Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council, I must add my voice to the words of appreciation for many of you who continue to contribute to make this university what it is becoming. On behalf of the Governing Council, the management and students of Augusta University, I first and foremost want to say thank you to Almighty God for His grace in bringing us this far. Then, because we thank His Eminence, Cardinal Ulubumi Okoje, our founder, not for just for his dream that has become a reality, but for the way he consistently addresses our problems when we run into stormy waters. Secretary to Cardinal Olubumi Okoje, I hear you are here with us. Please tell Baba we thank him always. Next, I will say a big thank you to His Grace, Archbishop Adewale Martins. I, I don't want to make him blush, but we have to thank those who deserve to be thanked. Sir, we thank you. We are making progress. We are not there yet. But I have no doubts in my mind that even the far we have come, you like what you see. Please give His Grace a round of applause. I always make it a point of duty to thank my brother, Sir Steve Omojafo. You have been pretending to be reading, you are hearing me, Chairman of BOT. Himself and myself have become right and left hand. We are trying to make the washing cleaner. I hope we'll succeed better than we are doing now. Finally, allow me to single out just three people whose contribution in the last very few years are making very significant contribution to the future trends of our university. First and foremost is Dave Winnie Akbani and family for the beautiful chapel an associated facility for priests that is gradually near completion. We thank her immensely. She's not here, but please clap for her. The next is our chancellor, 
Mr. Femi Otedola, COA, Chancellor of Adia University. The first block of engineering faculty by his sole effort is now available to the university for the commencement of engineering study at Augustine University, Ilara. Please thank him. <clears throat> Works are already on for the next block of a newly designed second block of engineering. Thank you very much. Thirdly, we thank Chief Stephen Bakari for his donation that has enabled us to resuscitate works at the Faculty of Law. It is our prayer that we'll be able to complete the, the block in the next one year so that we can add Faculty of Law to our deliverables. We pray to God that he should abundantly bless all these our benefactors as well as those who have helped us in the past. In conclusion, in my acceptance speech as chairman of the Governing Council for Augustine University on the 31st of May 2015, when council was inaugurated, I stated on behalf of the Governing Council that we shall walk assiduously to make sure we deliver the results to meet the expectations of the owners of the university. And that where possible, by the grace of God, we will try to exceed some of those expectations. I hope your grace, BOT, and the Archdiocese, I hope gradually and steadily we are beginning to meet your expectations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pro Chancellor. I now invite the Chancellor, Mr. Femi Otedola, to present his address to the convocation. Thank you, ma'am. The proprietor, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Alfred Adewale Martin, the Visioner of Augusta University, His Eminent Anthony Cardinal Olubumi Okoje. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Sir Stephen Majafo Owen, and other members of the Board of Trustees, including His Royal Majesty, the Alara of Ilara Kingdom, Oba Olukayode Olufolari Obusao, the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Governing Council, Chief Albert Grant, and other members of the Governing Council. Friends of the University, including my dear mother, Lady Daja Tedala, who has attended every convention ceremony, convocation ceremony of our university since inception. <laughs> gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today, I stand before you as a newly inaugurated Chancellor of Augusta University. To God be the glory. I am filled with a profound sense of gratitude and humility, and it is with immense honor that I accept this appointment. I would like to take this moment to express my heartfelt appreciation to the proprietor of this prestigious institution, His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Alfred Adewale Martin. I would also like to extend my deepest gratitude to the Visioner Anthony Cardinal 
Olubumi Okoji, the chairman and members of the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, and the entire university community for bestowing this appointment on me. Augusta University holds a special place in the realm of higher education. It is a place where knowledge is cultivated, where character is molded, and where dreams are nurtured. It is an institution that has consistently upheld the highest standards of academic excellence and moral values. To be entrusted with the role of chancellor of such a distinguished institution is both a privilege and a profound responsibility. I wish to pay tribute to the immediate past chancellor of our university, Right Reverend Monsignor Dr. John Anigu, a true colossus of our archdiocese who has been chancellor from inception of our university and who has left me with very large shoes to fill. I am therefore acutely aware of the weight of this responsibility and the expectations that come with it. Rest assured that I'm committed to upholding and advancing the values and vision that Augusta University represents. Indeed, I had. In the past, I've been approached by several universities who wish to give me a similar appointment, but I refused in view of my extremely busy schedule. I could, however, not refuse such an appointment for my Archbishop. Having accepted, I intend to work for the advancement of the growth of a university to ensure it is listed in the ranking charts amongst top universities in Nigeria and among the top Catholic universities in the world. Four years ago, I committed to build four blocks of the engineering faculty of this university at a then estimated cost of two billion naira. I made the pledge as I have always been committed to the development and economic empowerment of our youth through quality education. I did not dream then that I would be appointed chancellor of the university. Now that I'm chancellor, I intend to work with the university staff to ensure that the university and especially the engineering faculty becomes the center of excellence in Nigeria. A center that international students will also want to attend. The first building of the engineering faculty was completed at a cost of 670 million naira and blessed February this year. The design of the engineering faculty number two within the complex has been completed and contracts for its construction will soon be awarded with a completion date of December 2024. For the new graduates, I say welcome to the new world of reality. Expectations are extremely high from your families and the society at large and you must not let them down. In the journey of ex academic excellence, Augusta University has played a vital role in shaping your minds, honing your skills, and nurturing your aspirations. Among its many strengths, Augusta University has distinguished itself through its vibrant entrepreneurship program and rich internship opportunities. These experiences have equipped you, our graduates, with the tools and mindset needed to thrive in the ever-evolving world beyond these academic worlds. No doubt you have acquired that spirit of innovation and entrepreneurial skills that will serve as a cornerstone of your future endeavors. Today, I encourage you to, to embrace and never forget the knowledge you have gathered. Use it as a foundation to build your own path to success and do not be content with seeking jobs alone. Be the employers of labor this world needs. In a world that sometimes seems to prioritize job seeking over job creating, I challenge you to defy the norm like I did. Learn from the history of my life. 
apply the principle of entrepreneurship, innovation, and diligence to create your own opportunities, to build your own colonies of success. Remember that the knowledge you've acquired there is not merely for personal gain, but is a resource you can use to make a meaningful impact on the lives of others. In conclusion, my dear graduates, remember that your path may not always be smooth, but it is your determination, your resilience that will prepare you forward. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. That is what I did successfully. Congratulations on your achievements and always remember the words of St. Augustine. Pray as though everything depends on God. Walk as though everything depends on you. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations also to your parents and families. As stated in my citation, I strongly believe in transforming establishments that I'm associated with. I hope this gesture will encourage our students to make us all proud by studying hard to be first class students who will eventually contribute positively to the growth of our nation. I feel emotional as I make this speech today, as this university was my late father's dream. I remember the fundraising committee visiting my father several times when he was alive and also approaching me in 2008 for help in building the university. What they did not know then was that no one actually knew at that time that I was then bankrupt in Nigeria. I'll give you an insight into what happened, which we are also facing today. For about 10 years, I, I had full control, of course, it was a monopoly. I had full control of the supply of diesel into the Nigerian market. And the oil prices collapsed from 147 to 34 dollars. So I lost about 100 billion naira. And I said to myself, okay, let me take my losses and move on. It must be for a reason. Then we sold the products at the naira like what is happening today, we went to the bank to buy dollars. The dollars had moved from 105 naira to 175 naira. I said, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but God has a reason for everything. I thank God Almighty for changing my fortune and for all that He has provided for me since then. I firmly believe that Almighty God has empowered me to help in the development of this university and to help the multitude of students of this university. I thank God for using me as an instrument to assist the Catholic, university, Catholic Church, and in particular, our Archbishop, in all the good, weeks, good works of the Archdiocese of Lagos in promoting quality education in Nigeria. God bless across the university, God bless our country, Nigeria. God bless you. I thank you for listening. Faith. Every student here present, please stand up for an applause. Every student, power for Augusta University, let's give our chancellor an applause. Thank you, Chancellor. At this point, we have come to our convocation lecture. I want to invite the University Orator, Dr. James Onyashe, to read the citation on the convocation lecturer, who is unavoidably absent, but he has sent his son to deliver the convocation lecture on his behalf. The visitor permit me to adopt the already established protocol to invite the convocation lecturer for his citation to be read. Chief Michael A.A. Ozor Homer, Senior 
advocate of Nigeria. Chief of Ogomer holds a PhD in law. He is a senior advocate of Nigeria, CON, OFR, Knight of St. Lumumba. He has a long list of fellowships. Permit me to abridge the citation because this citation will be a lecture on its own. Chief Ozekome is also the Apapa Vigi Vigi of Edo Land and Evokare of Benin Kingdom. He hails from Ivukwetan in Agenebode, Esako East Local Government Area of Edo State. He attended St. Mary's Catholic Primary School, Ivyokwe, and St. Peter's College, Agenebode. In the secondary school, he was the best graduating student. He attended Obafemi Awolo University, where he earned a Bachelor of Law degree in 1980, and later a Master's degree in law. In 1986, he founded a law firm, Mike Ezekome Chamber, and he has carried out a long list of, a long list of national assignments. For instance, in 2005, he was the federal government delegate to the National Political Reform Conference representing civil societies. In 2009, he was a federal government delegate to the Vision 2020 Conference to help chart a course for making Nigeria one of the 20 leading economies in the world by the year 2020. The list goes on. Chief Ezekwame has received over 400 awards and honors, both locally and internationally, and is a fellow of several institutes, which include the Chartered Institute of Arbitration, Academy of Entrepreneurial Studies, National Institute of Management, to mention just a few. Chief Ezekome is married to a lawyer and a gender crusader, Lady Chief Justin Mike Ezekome, who holds a master's degree in law. They have seven children. Chief Ezekome is a titular, he loves sports, music, reading, writing, hot arguments, debates. He's a philanthropist, philanthropist, and he loves traveling too, and he loves nurturing pets and plants. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, join me to welcome the fifth convocation guest lecturer, Chief Mike Ezokome, to present his lecture. Thank you very much. Distinguished members, distinguished members of, the, of this amazing university. My name is Oshoma Mike Ozekome. I'm a practicing lawyer, and I'm here in representative cap capacity. That is, I am representing Chief Mike, Ch Professor Chief Dr. Mike A. E. Ozekome, A. S. S. E. N. O. F. R. C O N, a lover of education who, due to unforeseen and unavoidable circumstances, unable to be here in person. I'll be delivering this lecture on his behalf. I am humbled by this rare opportunity to stay in his huge shoes to deliver this lecture, and I'll do my best to deliver this lecture in the best of my abilities. I'll be delivering a lecture that reflects on his wisdoms 
experiences and insights on the topic of the youth, the laws, and the technological age, morality, and contemporary Nigeria. I kindly request your attention as we delve into this thought-provoking subject matter he has prepared for this occasion. I would like to stand on existing protocols. In the 21st century, Nigeria finds herself at the crossroad of a rapidly changing world. The country's youth who make up a significant portion of its population are navigating an intric intricate web of influences, including the law, the technological age, and the ever-evolving concept of morality. The, this lecture delves into the malfaceted relationship between the youth of contemporary Nigeria and these dynamic elements. Before delving deeper, it is imperative to get our bearings right by examining the definitions of the key words in, this, in the title of this dissertation. Who are the youth? The word youth has been defined at that time as that time of a life when one is young, especially the period between childhood and maturity. It is also the quality or state of being young, immature, or inexperienced. That is that period of our lives that we are allowed to make mistakes and learn from the experiences of these our mistakes. Moving on. For statistical purposes, the United Nations defines people between the age of 15 and 24 as youth without prejudice to other definitions by member states of the organization. However, the following UN entities instrument, instruments and regional organizations have some definitions of youth which the world body recognizes, viz. The UN Secretariat defines, defines the years of, of your youth between the ages of 15 to 24. UN Habitat defines the ages between 15 to 32 years. UNICEF, through the Convention of the Own Rights of the Child, says you are a child until you are the age of 18. The African Youth Charter defines it as the ages between 15 to 35. The Demography of Nigerian Youth. The Nigerian youth demography refers to the segment of the population in Nigeria that consists of young people, typically between the ages of 15 and 34 years. That is the ratio, the ratio of youth in the country compared to the other age groups in the country. According to this day's report on Tuesday, October 17, 2023, it is estimated that over 60% of the country's population was under the age of 25, making it the youngest country in Africa. That is, that is almost three quarters of our population. They are under the age of 25 years old. They are youth. The Nigerian youth demographic represents a potential workforce and a consumer base. It effect, if effectively harnessed and focused on, the, this youth demographic can drive economic growth, development in the country, Nigerian youths are often tech-savvy and have embraced digital technology, including the internet and social media. This has enabled them to connect, share information, and organize movement initiatives online. Many of our Nigerian youths are also entrepreneurial, starting businesses in various sectors, including technology, agriculture, fashion, sports, law, and entertainment. Notable Nigerian youths that changed the world. Today, Nigerian doctors, scientists, and engineers are making waves of contributions in Europe and North America. Professor Philip Emeguali won the 1989 Gordon Bell Award at the age of 35 for his work in supercomputing. Jelani Aliyu designed the first electric car for American automobile giant General Motors at the age of 28. Kunle Olokutun of Stanford, now 60, did work of original importance on multiprocessors. National Merit Laureate, Laureate Omawumi Sodik of State University of Binghamton at age 47 was given four patents for biosensors technology.
Young Nigerians are also recording stellar performances at home and abroad. A Nigerian family, the Imafidons, were voted the smartest family in Britain in 2015. And Marie Imafidon earned her Oxford Masters in Mathematics and Computing Science, where she was only 19. The decay we observe today had not always been this glaring in terms of youth being elbowed down. Once upon a time, the youths albeit in the in military khaki once seized the reins of power in Nigeria. They ranged from late 20s to early 30s. For example, late Colonel Yakubu Gowon became the head of state at the age of 32, making him the youngest head, head of state. He assumed this position on August 1st, 1966, in the aftermath of the military coup. His leadership played a crucial role during a tumultuous period in Nigeria history, including the Nigerian Civil War. The former Minister of Labor and Nigeria pioneer di diplomat, Dr. Matthew Tawo Mbu, holds the distinction of becoming the youngest minister in Nigeria at the age of 25 and the first Nigerian High Commissioner to the UK at the age of 26. Alfred Papareye, deity Spiff, now the Amanaya Ball, king of Tuambras in Bayasa State, is recognized for his contribution to the development and administration of the Niger Delta region. He was the first military governor of Rijba State, Nigeria, after it was created from part of the old eastern region. Chief Obafemi Awolowo, a prominent Nigerian statesman, accomplished several notable achievements at a relatively young age. Chief Awolowo excelled in his early education and was an outstanding student. He qualified as a barrister at the age of 37. Dr. Samuel Obemudia, Dr. Unamdi Azikiwe, Dr. Sa Abubakar Tafa Balewa, Queensley Ozumba Umbadiwe, Alaji Aminu Kano, Habat Makole, and Sir Amadou Belu are other names worth mentioning. What is morality? Morality refers to principles concerning the distinction between right and wrong, or good and bad behavior. It is the set of standards that dictate what is right, and right in terms of behavior and beliefs. The term can the term can be used either, number one, descriptively, to refer to certain codes of conduct put forward by a society or a group, such as a religion, or accepted by an individual for his or her behavior. Or, two, normatively, to refer to a code of conduct that, given specified conditions, would be put forward by all rational, all rational, all rational people as a sense or intuition of what is required or permitted as a guide for evaluating conduct. The meaning of law. The meaning of law is quite tricky. One's definition of law is influenced by the school of thought one belongs to. I would be deviating from this paper if I examine in detail the meaning of law under these schools of thought. Generally, law is a system of rule, rules which a particular country or community recognizes as regulating the actions of its members and which it may enforce by imposition of, pen imposition of penalties. According to Blackstone, law in its, in its most general and comprehensive sense is that rule of action which is prescribed by some superior and which, is, which the inferior is bound to obey. It is a body of rules of action or conduct prescribed by controlling authority and having binding legal force, that which must be obeyed and followed by citizens subject to sanctions or legal consequences. The law and, and its impact on, on the country's youth. The legal system in Nigeria has a significant impact in various ways. Several laws and regulations affect young people in the country shaping their rights, responsibilities, and opportunities. Therefore, the solution must lie elsewhere, not just the law. It is in this regard that I think there is some sense in the characterization of, of the generation of the majority of our leaders and elder citizens
by Professor Wale Shoinka as a lost generation. For this reason, our youth desperately need new role models, since those who traditionally played roles, such roles have dropped the ball and missed their way. This is therefore a charge to all you graduating today to pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. You must be determined to succeed, but to do so ethically, not at all costs or what or come what may. You must recreate your values or your or ideas of morality based on time-honored ethos of accountability, responsibility, and self-esteem. Remember that you break the law or cross the line at your own peril. You must shun the urge for immediate gratification and instead defy it to the appropriate time. If in the process you have to compromise by engaging in immoral, even if not quite criminal behavior. Always remember that what really matters is how well you finish, not how fast. Aim to finish like a marathoner by saving your best for the home stretch and finishing strongly, not like a sprinter who peaks quickly and burns up too fast, spent and unsuccessful. Your best strategy is the right attitude and mindset, in other words, morality. Above all else, you must, you must be known for your integrity. This is the strongest suit of all and your clearest guarantee of success that abides not one that fizzles out quickly, like a snowflake in the midday sun. For you, for you parents, it is what you sow into your children that they will reap as youth. Garbage in, garbage out. It is... It is the family that makes the nation. Bring Nigerian youth a right. I would like to give this advice personally to the gradu graduating students out there. I'm going to be very, very truthful here. Yeah? It's very, very, very tough out there. But from experience, I'm going to tell you this. If you hone on your beliefs, your integrity, your character, Believe me, these three things, if you hold on to these three things I tell you, God, family, and God, family, and work, you are going to make it in life. Believe me, the sky is only just your beginning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the lecture and for being able to summarize that 40 page lecture to summarize in uh, 20. Thank you. In appreciation of um, coming to give this convocation lecture, I call on the Vice Chancellor to present a plaque to Professor Joseph Ome. On behalf of Ubuntu University, Larry the Vice Chancellor, Senate, and the entire members of the university proudly express its appreciation to Professor Mike to that Tome uh, for, for delivering the lecture at the fifth convocation ceremony of Odonto University held on the 26th of October 2023 at the University Convocation Hall. Thank you very much. Can we give a round of applause? Thank you. Please give our regards to your father.
Faculty of Humanities, Management, and Social Sciences, Professor Joseph Omoregbe, to present 
the diplomat. Chancellor, sir, on behalf of the Faculty of Humanities, Management and Social Sciences, and by the authority of the Senate, I present to you the persons standing who have been found worthy both in character and learning to be awarded the Diploma in Pastoral Music. I receive you all. Only one word, Helen. No Kaiway, Angela. You are Anthony. Okay, Anthony. Odai, Peter. Igodalo, Igor. Onora, Joseph. Eko Chirina, Masalena. Ndiaya, Godfrey. Ophelia Emmanuel. Juan Kel Julian. Juan Raya Emmanuel. Lawrence. Maria Lawrence. United Kofi. Okay, I for Jude. Can you hear it? Josephina. Sadako. Laura. Frances. Umweke Victor. Michael Ambrose, Ayana, Ayani Lawrence, and Anchi Henry, Okay, Sama, Oyebo, Patrick, Obochama, Michael. And the way is a Yodana Ayana Que Leona in Kenya Tenants Ote John Uweke Colin Ike Joseph Modalu Joseph. And thank you, Chancellor. Admission to first degree in the faculty. Chancellor, sir, the persons whose names will be called have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Augustine University and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of their various faculties. ICBO. With the graduates in the Faculty of Humanities, Management and Social Sciences, please stand. Dean, Faculty of Humanities, Management and the Social Sciences, Professor Morekbe, please come and present your graduates. Chancellor, sir. On behalf of the Faculty of Humanities, 
social sciences, management and social sciences. I present to you the person standing who have been found worthy, both in character and learning, to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English and Philosophy, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Business Administration and Economics. Beginning with Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Omoja Oregemi Marvel, first class honor. Ama <laughs> Elizabeth Inena. Second class honors, upper division. Aiko, Jose Pame, Chevyevika, second class honors, lower division. Department of Business Administration. Ego Men, Kajito, Organizing Paper, First Class. Ola Faith, Bermis Ola, Second Class Honor, Upper Division. Kupala Inandi Franklin, second class honors upper division. Kupa Arizona, Gold, Chenekel, second class honors lower division. Ebo Osegai Williams, second class honors lower division. Chiedu Alexander Joku second class honor, lower division. Bachelor of Science in Economics. Balogun Martina Uriadu first class honor. Hiroshi Chedera Elizabeth, first class honors. Oko Onana Jashinta, second class honors, upper division. Fora by Esther Emmanuel Mimeret, second class honors, upper division. Oramoro Martina if Ivena Joku, second class honor, lower division. Mena Kenya, Oyenge, Prefresiska, third class honor. in English. Omolege, Ifeanyu, Michele, first class honors in English. A 
Adasen, Venetia, Rena, Second Class Honor, Upper Division. Interregio, Ujakuru, Ujakuru, Anthony, Second Class Honor, Upper Division. Opala, Jesia, Anastasia, Second Class Honor, Upper Division. Ihezi Anthony, Kwezi Lokoku, second class honor, upper division. Mwaeze Kigere, second class honor, upper division. Baduri, Uruwa Tonu Tuse Ida Iragosa, second class honor, lower division. Okadibu, Infanua, Marianne, Second Class Honor, Lower Division. Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy. Okadibu, Anasera, Reina, First Class Honors. Marianen, Organization of Google, Uruguay Turu Tumi, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Philip Elijah, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Gilmo, Marian. Olaboku, second class honor, upper division. Ikere Otibe, Idarinen, third class honor.
Faculty of Science, Professor Harry Silonje, please come and present your graduating students. In the name of the Faculty of, of Science and by the authority of the Senate, I present you the person standing with a recant worthy both in character and in learning to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science, that is Computer Science, Microbiology, Biochemistry, and Physics of the Augustine University in Sahara. I admit you all. BSc Microbiology, Sankola, Sankola Bawa, Second Class Honor of Admission. Okay. Salimum Godwin, second class honor, upper division. Iki, open for you, Kennedy, second class honor, upper division. Ikwe Nasi Nena, second class honor, lower division. John. 
second class upper. Opala, Miriam, Chelsea, second class honor, upper division. Opala, Angel, Ubuago, second class honor, upper division. Uwezi Manuel, Ogotuku, second class, honor, upper division, congratulations. BSc Computer Science. Continue. Odeika, Okechuku, Joachim. Second class, honor, upper division. Ekaju, Fortune, Bufa. Second class, honor, upper division. Nora, Joseph, Chief Kem, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Olaguju, Raphael, Mary, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Uso Apakeni Efion Second Class Honors Lower Division Uso Efion Uso Efion Second class honors lower division. Peters, Eddie, Eric, Peters, Swansea, Eric. Second class honors lower division. Second class honors, lower division. Isata. Second class honors, lower division. Odube, Jackim, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Oha Ikeze, Second Class Honors, Lower Division. Palazue Kosio Kosisa Second class honors lower division
second class honor, lower division. Emmanuel, Oye Bia, Bia, Second Class Honors, Lower Division. In the Faculty of Humanities, Management and Social Sciences and the Faculty of Science. Congratulations. Can you please, let all the graduates please stand up, turn the tassel of your cap from your right to your left. Congratulations, congratulations and congratulations. Thank you, Chancellor. Presentation of her prizes. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you some first degree graduates who have merited awards based on academic excellence and commendable achievement in the 2022-2023 academic session. With the permission of the Chancellor, I would like to invite, if you don't mind, the Chairman Board of Trustees and the Chairman Governing Council to assist in giving out these prizes. Chairman Board of Trustees, Sir Steve Omojafo, and Chairman Governing Council, These are students that have graduates that have distinguished themselves academically. As you can see on page 25 of our brochure, we have the Sir Steve Bamidele Omoja for prize for the overall best graduating student in Faculty of Humanities management and social sciences, male. And the recipient is Kareren of Enerume Oluwatomisi. We had a CGPA of 4.36, second class of our division. Amidele Omoja for prize for the overall best graduating student in Faculty of Humanities, Management and Social Sciences, female. The recipient is Okidevi, Honor St. Ryan, Department of Philosophy. CGPA 4.76 and she made a fourth class. Chief Gilbert Temison Grant Prize for the overall best graduating student in the Faculty of Science, male. The recipient is Paul Aiden John, Computer Science Program, CGPA 4.49.
Mr. Temi some grand prize for the overall best graduating student in the Faculty of Science, female. The recipient is Okubao Tende Mary. Computer Science Program, CGPA 4.86, and she made a first class. of the Chancellor, I wish to invite Monsignor Patrick Obayomi to join the Chairman BOT and the Chairman Governing Council to present this prize. Monsignor, please, please join us to present this prize. We have the Monsignor Obayomi Prize to the overall best graduating student in AUI for 2023 conference ceremony. The recipient is Okuba Wende Mary, Computer Science Program. Her CGPA is 4.86, and she made a first class.
we have the next the Mr. Prey Ayere Prize for the best graduating student in the Department of Business Administration. The recipient is Igowe Fegito of an effort. CGPA 4.57. She made a first class. to the Vice Chancellor. Vice Chancellor, sir. From Caleb University, we have Professor Mrs. Abimbola Orokoto representing the university. On behalf of the management of Caleb University and the Vice Chancellor, I want to congratulate you, the Vice Chancellor, the Pro Chancellor, our latest Chancellor, and the BOT for a wonderful job well done. Congratulations to all the graduates. See you on the top. God bless. From Covenant University, we have Professor Israel Tumola Afolabi representing the Vice Chancellor. On behalf of my Vice Chancellor, Professor Abiodun Ofri Adebayo, we celebrate with you on this great day of your, the release of your excellent product. Uh, we wish them best of luck and see you on top, governing Nigeria forward. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. From Ibnedia University, we have Professor Igodaro Igbe representing the Vice Chancellor. Professor Igbe, please. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Lawrence Ezmoye, I congratulate you on your fifth convocation ceremony, and I wish all the graduates the best wishes and endeavors in their life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ibinedia University. From Lagos State University, we have Professor Latuji Abanikonda representing the Vice Chancellor.
I stand on my existing protocol to bring message to you by the Vice Chancellor, Lagos State University, Professor Ibiemi Idilola Olakunji Bemi, MNI, MPON. On behalf of the Council, the Senate, the management, the staff and students of Lagos State University, we felicitate with Augusta University on this auspicious fifth anniversary. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to the graduates. Thank you very much. From Christland University, ah. Professor Augustine Onya Gala, representing the Vice Chancellor of Christland University. Professor Augustine Onya Gala. All protocols will be observed on behalf of my Vice Chancellor, Professor Chinedon Peace Babalola, FAS, FAS. Senate Council Chancellor Pro Chancellor, I congratulate you for your fifth convocation ceremony and wish you greater hearts. Congratulations. Sir. Thank you very much. From the Dominican University, Badon, we have Reverend Father Joseph Ekon representing the Vice Chancellor. Dominican University. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor of the Dominican University, Ibadan, Professor Hygienius Ekwazi, I present this goodwill message to the Vice Chancellor of Augustine University, and I congratulate all the graduates, and I pray that you may have many better and greater years ahead. Congratulations. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Father. From Pan Atlantic University, Bejuleki, we have Dr. Norbert Edoma representing the Vice Chancellor. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor of Pan Atlantic University, Professor Enase Okonedo, I extend her warm greetings to the Vice Chancellor, Augustine University, and all the graduating students here. Congratulations. Thank you very much. From McFarsty University, we have Dr. Lale Kongujimi representing the Vice Chancellor. Standing on the existing protocol, Um, on behalf of uh, Professor Francis Adebaye Ibasson, I wish to congratulate my Vice Chancellor and our Vice Chancellor of Augustine University. By presenting this to you, sir, I shall produce more, sir. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have the Rector, Yaba College of Technology. Dr. Abdul Ibrahim, please step forward, representing the Yaba College of Tech. Okay, I'm told he just stepped up. We have the representative of the Chairman Committee of Vice Chancellors of Nigeria University with the headquarters in Abuja. Dr. Oro Ufwa Oro, please step forward to present a goodwill message. This is a committee that all vice chancellors of all Nigerian universities belong to. On behalf of um, Professor Yakubu Ochefu, the Secretary General of uh, Committee of Vice Chancellors of Nigeria. I congratulate the VC, the university, the graduates, and the award recipients on this occasion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and give our uh, regards to the chairman of CVC. 
Thank you all, visiting Vice Chancellor, and thank you, everyone. The next item is the valedictory speech by, by the valedictorian. Chancellor, sir, I now invite Ogumba Okende Mary of the Faculty of Science to, pre to give a valedictory speech on behalf of her graduating colleague. Ogumba Okende, please step forward. Remember that they had a CGP of 4.86. So emerge as the overall best graduating student. Standing on existing protocols, I welcome you all to the fifth convocation ceremony. My name is Ogumba Okeinde, and I am honored to stand here today representing the graduating class of 2023 and myself. Not because of all the awards I have received but because I am part of a truly amazing set from a truly outstanding institution. I believe that we can all agree that today is truly extraordinary, and we are grateful to God for making this happen. Going down memory lane, it has not been an easy journey. Some years ago, many of us were clueless of the choice of a university to attend. Like me, many of us did not even know we would end up in AUI. I remember falling in love with the environment as soon as I stepped foot in here. Upon resumption, I was scared and felt intimidated because I resumed two weeks of the semester's exams. But I made a promise to God and myself that I was going to face the difficulties and scale through them. It was not an easy journey, but I am grateful to God that I kept that promise. Today, I am flooded with memories as I look around at my fellow graduates, reminiscing memories and reflections of where our school experiences began. I'm sure everyone here, like me, remembers our first days of school when we were filled with the excitement of starting our university experience and also felt nervous as we did not know what was lying ahead of us. Each of us has had our own unique AUI experience, a combination of good and difficult times. We have had to deal with several challenges like COVID, which took its toll on us as we had to take online classes for the entire semester coupled with lack of data, unstable power supply, and lockdown. All this affected us all in one way or another. We also experienced numerous late and sleepless nights as we had assignments to submit, deadlines to meet, tests, and exams. Final year project writing also came with its own difficulties. Let us also keep in mind that not all of us is here here today that matriculated four years ago are here today. Many, if not all of us, have had a difficult four years. And the fact that you are here today is a proof that you did a great job and a sign that you have a bright future ahead of you. Today is indeed the day the Lord has made. I am proud of myself and every one of us. I am proud of how far we have come and how much we have accomplished. I believe we deserve to give ourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Today marks the end of our university experience and the beginning of the next chapter of our lives. Our lives are just getting started. The reality of our next phase is that we will be on our own, figuring out life. Most of us might be worried about what the future holds for us, and it is quite natural to be confused and uncertain about how to proceed with our lives. And we hope to God to give us direction. Once again, I thank God for bringing us this far because it would not have been possible without him. To the memory of my father, who I never really knew because he died when I was five years old, I wish you were here. 
I would like to appreciate my paternal aunt, Mrs. E. E. Oguyemi, and her husband, Mr. R. E. Oguyemi, who took my siblings and I in and have been taking care of us ever since. Even when her sisters castigated her for sending us to private schools instead of public schools. Thank you for fighting for us. Thank you for being the parents we never thought we'd have. Thank you for all the sacrifices you have made for us and for never teaching us like we're never your children. Without God and you, I will not be here today to give this validity speech today. <laughs> to my cousin, Mr. Bimbola Ogunemi. Thank you for being the best big brother I could ever wish for. To my cousin's wife, Mrs. Busaya Ogunyemi, thank you for all the words of advice and encouragement. To my younger brother, Oluwatu Nishugumbao, thank you for your love and support. To Mrs. Oko Ogubao, Mrs. Esther Oko, thank you for everything. I would also like to appreciate the parents and guardians of all of us graduating today for their constant support and for being there throughout our journey. In a special way, I thank the university management, the faculties, our lecturers, most especially Mr. Joshua Olilima and Dr. Gio Obusowo, our friends, and everyone who has inspired and helped us become who we are today. I would like to say thank you to my amazing classmates for making my four years at the Bosch University a memorable one. Congratulations to all of us. We made it. Thank you. Congratulations, congratulations. We are proud of you any day, any time. She's one of the best students we have ever had in AUI. She never had infraction throughout her four years stay in Augustine University. Congratulations, we are proud of you. Can we give her a round of applause once again? Thank you. To conduct quickly, to conduct the alumni pledge of the AUI Alumni Association, I would like to invite the president of the association, Mr. Emmanuel Onya, to conduct the alumni pledge. Chancellor, sir, with your permission, I will now ask all the students um, graduating today to please be on their feet. Kindly repeat after me as we the alumni pledge. With your right hand up, I, a graduate of Augustine University, hereby pronounce my membership in the Alumni Association of Augustine University. I'm promised to abide by its rules and principles. I pledge my loyalty and commitment to the philosophy of my alma mater. To continually learn and develop in character as I fulfill my social and professional responsibilities and serve my community. I will strive to ensure Augustine University's place as a global icon. A catalyst for national and world development and leadership. 
I pledge to dedicate my services wherever and whenever needed. As an alumnus of this great institution, so help me God. Amen. Congratulations and welcome to the Augustine University Alumni Association. We come to the address by the proprietor and visitor of Augustine University. I now invite the proprietor and visitor to Augustine University, Most Reverend Dr. Alfred Adewale Martins, to give his address. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees, the Chancellor, the first Chancellor and Chairman of Governing Council, please permit me to rest on the protocols that have already been established. It is a momentous occasion today, a day in which we come to celebrate, on the one hand, the achievements of the graduates of Augustine University. On the other hand, acknowledge the remarkable accomplishment of the graduates of St. Gregory Diploma School of Pastoral Music. As we gather here today, with all sense of modesty, we cannot but to the exceptional tradition of Catholic education, a tradition that is well known for its unwavering commitment to academic excellence, the upholding of moral values, and a holistic approach to nurturing individuals. Our university, Augustine University, proudly carries on this legacy. This legacy is rooted in the teachings of St. Augustine, whose wisdom and insights continue to inspire our academic endeavors. Augustine University has prioritized academic and moral excellence since its inception. And so, she offers a wide range of programs across fields, including the arts, sciences, and the social sciences. The rigorous curriculum, dedicated faculty, and state-of-the-art facilities have contributed to the institution's reputation for academic excellence. Her commitment to the best practices of Catholic education, its emphasis on the formation of the whole person, intellectual growth, as well as development of moral character and a sense of purpose in her students. This holistic approach to education is one of the hallmarks that Catholic University of St. Augustine has wholeheartedly embraced. In addition, St. Gregory Diploma School of Pastoral Music, an affiliate of Augustine University, has helped to expand the scope of Augustine University's commitment to holistic development by nurturing the musical talents and spirituality of her students in St. Gregory Diploma School of Pastoral Music. St. Gregory Diploma School of Pastoral Music is the only Catholic diploma awarding musical school in the Archdiocese of Lagos, and indeed in the whole of Nigeria. By the collaboration between St. Augustine University and St. Gregory Diploma School of Pastoral Music, our graduates are able to offer their services as choir masters, 
choristers, and all music lovers an uh, opportunity to serve after a three-year program of part-time studies. The school aims at training and producing musical directors for our parishes, for other churches, for communities, for schools, and similar settings through developing the musical talents of our students and imparting them with theological and pastoral knowledge, both of church music and in order to train them to become pastoral musicians. Music as an art form has the power to uplift and inspire. And the school's association with Augusta University reinforces the value of spirituality and arts in education. That is why I use this opportunity to congratulate not only the Augusta University, but also the director of St. Gregory's School of Pastoral Music, Reverend Father Peter Oshunpokwe, and the team of resource persons for this stand, this giant stride which they make in the Archdiocese today. It is our hope that the university, Augustine University, would encourage collaboration with more Catholic institutions and indeed other institutions in fostering the principle of holistic education. My dear graduates, every one of you here has traveled a unique path characterized by dedication, perseverance, and pursuit of knowledge. Your journey to reach the point today certainly has been marked with challenges, but also with triumphs, with sleepless nights and anxieties, but also moments of enlightenment. You, all of you, you have shown that you understand the significance of the pursuit of excellence. You have learned that the concept of excellence is a journey that every graduate needs to continue. Remember, excellence is not a destination that one reaches and then rests upon arrival. Like holiness of life, Excellence is a path, a journey, a relentless pursuit. It is a pursuit of becoming the best version of yourself, personally and professionally. And so as you graduate today, you enter into a world in which no matter what the standards around you may be, excellence, excellence is for you not an option, but a value that is expected of you as graduates of AUI. Remember always that excellence does not often follow paths that have been well beaten. It often stems from innovation. Therefore, be creative. Think outside the box. Be open to new ideas. Innovators are the ones who create lasting change. No doubt you will encounter setbacks and challenges. But remember that resilience is your greatest ally. You must develop the ability to bounce back from every adversity that may come your way in life. Ability to bounce back is what will drive your success and progress in life. As graduates of these institutions, we believe that you are poised to be leaders in your chosen field. Never ever forget that true leadership is not about raw exercise of power and authority, but about serving others as Christ instructs us. It is in inspiring them to greater heights. 
The journey to, to excellence must be guided by ethical conduct. It is not enough to be skilled. You must also act with integrity and moral probity. St. Augustine, our patron, emphasizes that the root of greatness is to be found in humility. Humility is the mother of all virtues. The idea of humi humble beginnings echoes the truth that success is not one giant leap, but a step-by-step -step gradual ascent with humility, as cornerstone in relating with others and leading to greatness and excellence. In conclusion, let me remind you that the pursuit of excellence is a lifelong endeavor. It is a journey that requires commitment, resilience, innovation, and an unwavering dedication to making a positive impact on the world. Now, dear parents and guardians of our graduates, hearty congratulations to you all. As you behold today the reward of your sacrifices and hard work, as you rejoice today and we rejoice with you, I pray that the labor of love over your children will not be in vain. But I prove Jesus Christ our Lord, and by the power of the mercy of God, you will reap the fruits of your labor. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I felicitate with you the management and the entire staff of AUI. Today is another manifestation of success in your endeavors the fruit of hard work and tireless efforts to re help realize the objectives of our university. Congratulations. Well done to you all. Please permit me one more minute. Because I cannot end this address without expressing our profound gratitude again and again, as has been expressed before, to all our benefactors, the benefactors of this university. Without their support, without their commitment, we would not be where we are today. Indeed, we know that our journey is still far ahead. And therefore, we continue to appreciate their collaboration with Augustine University. I cannot mention them all who have been of great assistance. You have seen and heard one of them today, the chancellor of our university, making a continued commitment to the growth of our university. Mr. Chancellor, sir, thank you very much. We thank the Akpane, Winnie Akpane and her family for the iconic chapel of Augustine University that is coming close to completion. May God bless you. I join my voice to thank Chief Stephen Bakari and his family for the faculty of law building that is ongoing. May the Lord bless each of you abundantly. May he grant you the graces that is reserved for those who give without counting the cost. And in the end, may you reap the reward of the righteous. So once again, thank you all, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Please let us applaud the proprietor of our university. I now invite the Chancellor to declare the congregation closed. I now declare the congregation closed. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to please rise as we share the closing prayer to bless this day and the future of our graduates. It is my privilege to welcome the Cardinal Secretary Reverend Father Theophilus, to lead us in the closing prayer. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for a day like this. We thank you for your many blessings upon us, upon our university. We thank you for the gift of life, for the wonder of this day. As we come to the close of this celebration, we commit the future of our graduates to your hands. You who have kept them this far, who has brought them this far, we pray that you continue to guide them, you continue to bless them, you continue to take care of their future endeavors. For all of us who have gathered to celebrate with them as we depart to our various places, we pray that you grant us journey mercies so that the joy we have gathered to celebrate today will never depart from our individual lives and our institution will continue to grow from grace to grace and in limbs and bounds. This we ask through Christ our Lord. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God, Despise not our prayers and our necessities. May the blessing, the peace, and the joy of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you all today and be with you forevermore. Um, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare to complete this ceremony, I kindly ask that you remain standing as we take the inn to St. Augustine. Please, let's remain standing, please. Anthem, please. Thank you. 
Please let's remain standing as the academic procession exists to all in reverse order. Please let's remain standing.